Okay, this is section 1.1, linear inequalities in one variable. Some property rules you need to remember back from your Algebra 1 days. The addition property of equality says that if A is equivalent to B, then A plus C, where C represents anything, can be equal to B plus C. They balance themselves out. Subtraction property. It starred because, yes, if you do A equal to B, then A minus C equals B minus C but you cannot do the reflect reverse of it. If I do A minus C, I cannot be C minus B. You, the left side and the right side will not be equivalent. You can test this rule by coming up with values for A and C and B and seeing that the left and right don't equal in the second set. Multiplication property of equality says that if A is equivalent to B, then A times C is the same as B times C. Again, the division one is starred also because Yes, A over C is equivalent to B over C, provided that C does not equal zero. Remember, C in the denominator means an undefined rule. Um, so we can never divide by zero unless you are doing limits of a function. And at that point, you're taking pre-calculus. So for right now, we're not. Example one, it says negative 3 fifths P equals 4 fifteenths. Now, in order to get rid of the denominators, I'm going to multiply both sides by the LCD. Remember, LCD is your least common denominator. In this instance, I'm looking at my denominators 5 and 15, and I'm going to use 15 as my rule. So I'm going to write 15 bracket negative 3 fifths P on the outside equals 15 4 over 15. Cancel out your like terms. Well, 5 goes into 15 actually three times. So I see 3 times negative 3, that's negative 9 with a P. The 15 is canceling you with a 4. Divides both sides by negative 9. So P is negative 4 ninths. When we look at B, we see a whole number 4 equivalent to W over 2.2. First thing we want to do is make it a fraction, an improper fraction. So in this instance, our LCD is 2.2 so I'm multiplying both sides by 2.2 so 2.2 times 4 is an 8.8 .8. the right side cancels and so w is equivalent to 8.8 .8. example 2 it says 11z plus 2 is equal to 5 parentheses z minus 2 remember you're going to distribute into the parentheses so the left side slides down and you're multiplying in, so you get 5z minus 10. Think of this, this side being New York, the right side being New Jersey, the equal sign is, the gold, is your um, George Washington Bridge connecting the two. So we're going to move our like terms. I'm going to move my z's to the left, so I'm subtracting. It's the opposite of what you see. So you get 6z plus 2 equaling negative 10. Now you're going to move the 2 to the right, so it's positive 2. I'm subtracting it. So we get 6z equaling negative 12. Divide both sides by 6. So z is equal to negative 2. Example 3. Notice in this problem there's brackets and then parentheses contained inside the bracket. And then you're right, so you're gonna do the left and right. So you're gonna work from the inside out. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna distribute that negative three in here, and then the two on the right side. So negative four slides down, y slides down. Now we become negative three y, positive 15. You become 12 minus 10 y. So the right side is already broken out. The left side still needs to go. First thing we do is we're going to combine like terms on the inside. So we're going to combine these two terms right here. So we see negative 4 slides down. y minus 3y is negative 2y plus 15 equals 12 minus 10y. Now we are going to distribute in. So we become 8y minus 60 equals 12 minus 10y. Again, we're going to apply the rule that we did in example 2. 
combine like terms to the left. So it's a negative 10y. I'm going to add a 10y. To get 18y minus 60 equals 12. Again, we're going to move the 60. It's negative 60, so we're going to do the opposite, which is positive 60. So we get 18y equaling 72. So now, in this problem, to simplify this, yes, you're going to divide by 18, but the best way to do it is say you didn't have a calculator. 72 is the factors of 9 times 8. 18 is the factors of 9 times 2y. When I do that, I notice that the 9s can cancel each other out. So then you're left with 2y equaling 8. If you divide both sides by 2, y is 4. Example 4. So now we're looking at this problem and it has 1 fourth w plus 1 third w minus 1 equaling 1 half parentheses w minus 4. First thing I notice, I have a fraction, fraction, whole number, fraction. I'm going to make that whole number a improper fraction by just putting it over 1. Now, I'm going to circle my denominator so I see a 4, a 3, a 1, and a 2. So we need to come up with an LCD, a number that 4, 3, and 2 all go into. Well, 4 times 3 is 12. 12 is divisible by 2, so my LCD is a 12. So you're going to use 12 to get rid of your fractions. So you're gonna put 12 on the outside of each of your brackets. And then the parentheses is not affected because it's already protected by the parentheses symbol. We're gonna reduce our terms here. Four goes into 12 three times, so we get three with a W. Three goes into 12 four times, so you get a four with a W. Nothing reduces here, so you're just minus 12. 2 goes in 12 six times, so I see six parentheses, w minus 4. On the left side, we can combine like terms. On the right, we need to distribute. So we're distributing on the right, and the left combines. So we have 3 and 4, they're the same terms, so 7w minus 12. We distribute, we get 6w minus 24. Crossing that bridge, positive 6w, I'm going to subtract 6w. So we get w minus 12 equaling negative 24. It's a negative 12. I'm going to add 12. Remember, it's always the opposite of what you see. So w is equal to, I'm short $24, but found 12, I'm still short 12. Example 5. Same property rules. We have a x minus 2 over 5 minus x minus 4 over 2 equaling 2 plus x plus 4 over 10. So fraction setup, fraction setup, whole number, fraction setup. First thing, make this an improper fraction. Now notice that these numerator values have binomial pieces, but it's an x minus 2. So put parentheses. Anytime you come to a problem like this, put parentheses around multiple terms shared in the numerator line. Now I'm circling my denominator. I have a 5, a 2, a 1, and a 10. Well, 5 times 2 is 10, and 10 is divisible by 10, so your LCD in this instance is a 10. So you're going to put 10 bracket x minus 2 over 5, 10 bracket x minus 4 over 2, equals 10 bracket 2 over 1 plus 10 bracket x plus 4 over 10. The reason I'm doing this is so I can reduce fractions and get rid of your denominators. We notice that 5 goes into 10 twice, so we see two parentheses x minus 2 slide down. Minus sign. Remember, the sign goes with it. 2 goes into 10 five times, so I see a 5 parentheses x minus 4 slide down equals nothing reduces so 10 times 2 is 20 plus sign tens cancel and we get x plus 4. We are going to distribute so if you want to think about it this is actually a 1 it reduces to a 1 and we can put a 1 there in case that happened to be a minus sign. We're going to distribute in on 
the left and on the right. So you get 2x minus 4 minus 5x plus 20 equals 20 plus x plus 4. Combine like terms on the left and right. So we see 2x minus 5x is a negative 3x. Short $4 found 20, I have 16. I have 20, I gained 4, I have 24 plus an x. Crossing that bridge, so we're going to combine our x's to the left. Positive x, I'm subtracting it over. So short 3x's and I spend another x, I'm short 4 of them. Plus 16 equals 24. Move the 16 by subtraction over. So negative 4x equals, I had $24, but spent 16, I have 8. And then divide by negative 4, so x equals negative 2.